The first time I took a plane was a 14 hour flight to Xi'an, China. Isreen, Jack, Rob, Takako, Miranda, Alexia were on board with me. In the city, the roads are shared by everyone. Pedestrians, cars, buses, motorcycles, bikes, trucks, and a new type of transportation I discovered, the tuk-tuk. Sometimes, the streets have a nauseous smell. It was dirty, but at the same time, they were sweeping around and it seemed litter-free. There was a lot of construction everywhere, plenty of new buildings where no one was living in yet. Every time we turned around a corner, it was a new business section like selling only LED lights, only scooters, or only pomegranate juice. There are many small restaurants often regrouped in food markets, and almost no food, fast food restaurants but KFC. We ate with chopsticks. The food was very spicy, salty, and oily. Handmade noodles and meat all the time, a bit of rice, dumplings, vegetables like bok choy, Chinese cabbage, okra, and lotus roots. We ate dragon fruits, Asian pears that taste like apples and pears, rock mushrooms, and sanji lo local foods, maize meal. I climbed a mountain for the first time, the north peak of Hua Shan Mountain. The walk up was 6.6 .6 kilometers long to reach an altitude of 1,614.9 meters. It's like going up a flight of stairs for three hours nonstop. The steepest part was 70 degrees. I feel happy that I accomplished something so challenging because with some help, I made it to the end without giving up. It was really hard. My legs were hurting, my breath was short, and I felt exhausted, but I made it. Even though I had fun, I had to work. I was assistant stage manager for the show called Les Moutons, which performed in 12 different places around Xi'an. We performed in shopping malls, condo developments, expo center, public squares, and parks. On the last day, we performed at a Hope School two hours away from Xi'an for little kids who seemed very interested in the show. It's a boarding school because the children only go home once a month because their parents have to go work in the big city. For the show, I helped with fluffing the costumes on the dancers, preparing the milk and pee bottle for the sheep, and assisting Jack with the costume quick change for Shepherd to Wolf and Wolf back into Shepherd. I also was tipping my hat to cue Rob the Ram so he knew that his part was about to start. At the end of the show, children and parents were asking Israel and I questions about the show, the theater tricks, and even why the Ram was going on top of the U. Following the performance, the dancers also taught some workshops, and I participated in them, helping however I could. One day, we got invited to a theater university where Israel and the dancers made a presentation about Corpus and how we are with the company today. I got a chance to share, share my story with the group and we did another workshop where I learned about awareness of space and people. The funniest moment of the show was when a dog came in front of the ram, Rob, and started barking at him. Rob decided to play around and the ram scared the dog away. One thing I take home with me is attention for details. For example, to prepare the milking trick, I had to make sure the bottle was washed, filled up to a specific level with not hot, not cold, but warm milk, and I had to tape the cap to make sure that there was no leaks. I also found myself in situations where I was with people I couldn't communicate with words. Sometimes there was a translator, sometimes we talked with our hands, sometimes we pointed out with a map. Thanks to one of the dancers, I was able to count the ten in Mandarin, say hello and thank you, and learn a bit about the language and how it works with characters, expressing images, and actions. For example, an entrance is symbolized by a person and a mouth. 
And I also learned that you can express respect in different ways and in different languages. We also visited some cultural things such as the terracotta warriors. Each warrior's face was different like if they were real people. We also biked on top of the wall which surrounds the city. We discovered the Muslim market where I put my feet in a tank of fish who ate my dead skin. In Mandarin, there is no direct translation for I miss you. Chinese would say, remember the day when we did such and such. It has been a long time. My name is Pauline, I'm 12 years old, and I live on the Esplanade. I was lucky enough to be invited by Jamie and Corpus to join Corpus Dances on their tour to China. I thank you to Israel and David for giving me a unique opportunity, the dancers for being by my side throughout the journey, and to all of those who donated and made this possible.